So that's the fuselage, and in one of the things, uh, technologies that we've had to develop is a rebreather system. Because if we're unlike an airliner where you can blow a ton of air in, in and out and keep the fresh air in the thing, we got to live in a very small amount of stored air. First of all, we're going to have very low leakage, which we have demonstrated already. And second of all, uh, if you breathe that air, you're going to exhale like a, a pint, of, pint an hour per pilot of water, and it's all going to end up frozen to the inside of the, the cockpit, and including the windows. So we adapted a uh, underwater rebreather system, which is closed cycle. We take an oxygen mask, uh, 23P for Air Force and Navy pilots, and you breathe in one side, and then you breathe out the other side, and a hose goes back to a CO2 scrubber, uh, which is uh, calcium hydroxide, and it very effectively removes all the CO2. And the water, you just recycle, which is good for you because you don't get dehydrated, and you rebreathe the, the same water vapor. And then uh, <clears throat> you just add a little oxygen as the, you put in a counter lung, which it compensates for the, uh, the breathing cycles. And when that gets low, you just valve in a little more oxygen. And the only oxygen you use is that which you actually metabolize, which is a very small quantity. So for uh, two pilots for eight hours, it just takes a few pounds of oxygen, a small amount of oxygen to do it. So the rebreather is really good uh, technology, but it's taken quite a bit of effort to adapt it. It's much simpler than an underwater, simpler and safer than an underwater rebreather system.